Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Thank you so much for staying with us. Now, without further ado, it's time for us to get into exactly what's trending in the news today. Who better to give us the updates than our favorite political analyst, Ezegu Chukudi? Thank you so Thank much you for joining much, us. Thank you very much, Leila. How are you doing today? I'm very fine. It's a terrific Tuesday. And hey. I would say happy Tuesday. Tuesday. I feel like we're wearing two different shades of blue today, but we don't have any Tuesday <laughs> blues out here. Well, blue is blue. <laughs> blue is blue. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put you on the spot before we get started. Now, today on Banter, I was speaking about hair tips and tricks and foods that you can use to grow your hair. What, what do you use to grow your beard? What do you guys use? Well, um, I have never had that problem because I'm not particular about growing my beard. Yeah. But I know for certain people, uh, there are certain things that they mix with their um, with different hair creams yeah. that would allow for the texture and the color and the richness of the beard. I've I don't seen think it's... people combing through their beard. Yeah. Is it that serious? It's really serious. So that's why we had the beard gang. For some yes, people, it's a lifelong achievement to have beards. For some people, when they have these beards and it has these patches of white, it's like they have made it in life. I'm finished. But for those of us <laughs> that got created like this, you know, small boys like boy. us. <laughs> small boy, big god. <laughs> yeah, let's not leave it like that. Okay, let's get into today's trending stories. Now, apparently not ready to tread on a warpath with the presidency, the acting director general of the Department of State Services, Matthew Sayefa, has bowed to the directive of the presidency to stop the reorganization of key staff until further notice. Now, the move by the acting DG to breathe new lease of life into the affairs of the agency by realigning some key staff had pitched him against a top presidential aide who sidestepped the national security advisor and ordered Sayefa to jettison the new postings with immediate effect. Now, a top source knowledgeable in the exercise that followed the order by the presidency to the DG to discontinue with the reorganization, no fewer than 30 senior directors and management staff who had been moved from other states and Abuja were on Monday ordered and returned, sorry, ordered to return to their former posts until further notice. Now, the source said that although what Sayefa did was a routine deployment of key staff for effective operations, those opposed to him and his administration reported to the presidency that he was, quote-unquote, busy removing APC loyalists and replacing them with supporters of a rival political party. Once the allegation of political bias was raised by the acting DG, some powerful persons felt that it was necessary to stop Sayefa without even looking at the merits of that allegation. Now, quote-unquote, the source went on to say, the implication of what they have succeeded in doing is the service has now been hijacked by politicians, and it's very dangerous for the operatives, who are supposed to be pure and non-partisan professionals in the discharge of their duties to Nigeria. Chukudi, how do we take this? Is this a political rivalry, or is he simply doing his job? I think it's important that we emphasize that... Um, as far as this story is concerned, we cannot say for a certainty that, you know, this is what is right and wrong in the story. And the reason why I'm saying this is because we are only open to speculations, yeah. you know, to read the story and say, this is what I think, mm. this is not what I think. But in all honesty, what we must do is look at antecedents or precedents look at issues that have played out in the past so that we'll look at this story and maybe can arrive at a conclusion. Now, I would recall that the wife of Mr. President and the person of the uh, uh, wife of the president, Aisha Buhari, had complained about hyenas and jackals mm -hmm. hijacking the office of the president. And in the past, there were issues or allegations of certain people, very powerful, that were running things or people that have that been referred to as the cabal in the presidency. And let me also take this a step further. You would recall that when he was accosted by newsmen, after the announcement that he had been relieved of his job, Baba Chilawal, you understand, the SGF queried that who is the presidency. Mm. Now, when you look at these three scenarios that I have painted, it would seem that when you analyze this story, there is meat, there is meat, in this pot of soup. Now, I am not one to make conjectures based on speculations, but we have to be very, very careful because what we have seen since the return to democratic rule in 1999 is people playing politics with government and governance. I mean, you cannot separate politics from government and governance because whether you like it or not, so long as a political party has an ideology or a vision 
and people emerge and occupy political positions or offices through these political parties, they will try as much as they can to drive yeah. the agenda of that political party. But the question now is, what is the agenda of these political parties? Yeah. In Nigeria today, we have two major political parties, if we're going to be sincere. These parties have held sway from time immemorial, since the return to democratic rule in 1999, the All Progressives Congress, which from 2014, and also the People's Democratic Party. But you cannot even separate, you know, the political gladiators, because it would seem that a lot of them are one and the same. We can count on our fingers influential members in government or in the past government that have switched sides when we look at these major political parties. What Nigerians must do now is to begin to participate actively. And how do we participate actively? By, be, by becoming more involved in government and governance, following what is happening in our great country, Nigeria. Because what I have noticed is politicians will try their best to divide us on ethnic, religion, and political lines. But in actuality, there are two classes of Nigerians, the political class that benefit from yeah. government and the suffering masses of Nigerians that are united by poverty, pain, suffering, and penury. Yeah. Now, what we must do is watch, because whether you like it or not, at the end of the day, if politicians are just about their interest, which is selfish, the interest of the collective will be undermined. And if we don't hold them accountable and responsible, then we are in trouble. I am saddened by the fact that we are making speculations or conjectures with respect to what is happening in the DSS. The DSS is supposed to be like, you know, the live wire when we look at intelligence in our great country, yeah. Nigeria. But when we politicize all these activities, it is a problem. Like I said from the start, we cannot say for certainty that this is what is happening. But I would like the presidency to clear the air. How do we clear the air? Make Nigerians know that the person that presented himself, that Nigerians overwhelmingly voted for in 2015, is in charge of his government. Yeah. That is one way of convincing Nigerians that there is no cabal or there are no people you know, running things. Mm -hmm. Now, certain people might argue and say, should the president respond to everything? Should the presidency respond to everything? But remember this popular saying that there is no smoke without, without fire. fire. And I set examples. If the wife of the president had complained about hyenas and jackals, mm -hmm. if there had been this long talk of somebody very, very influential in the government mm -hmm. that is undermining the government, and with this story that we're hearing here today, we have to be very, very careful. We definitely do. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.